He helped end a war, but feared what he unleashed on the world. This is the story of J. Robert Oppenheimer, the man who split the atom in history itself. Born in 1904, New York City, a genius from day one, curious, quiet, intense. By 12, he was studying chemistry. By 22, physics at Cambridge and Göttingen. He loved poetry as much as particles. He spoke multiple languages, a brilliant, restless soul. In the 1930s, he became a top theoretical physicist in the U.S., but dark clouds loomed in Europe. Then came Einstein's letter to the U.S. president. Germany might build an atomic bomb. America raced to get there first. Oppenheimer was chosen to lead the secret project. He gathered the greatest minds in science in the middle of the desert, Los Alamos. Years of intense work, sleepless nights, endless equations. The world's first nuclear weapon was near. Then on July 16, 1945, the Trinity test. A flash brighter than the sun. A shockwave felt for miles. Oppenheimer whispered a line from the Bhagavad Gita, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Weeks later, bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world would never be the same. Celebrated as a hero, but Oppenheimer felt haunted. Blood on my hand, he said. He spoke out against nuclear arms, called for global control, but it cost him. In 1954, he was stripped of his security clearance, humiliated by his own government. Still, history remembers him not just as a builder of bombs, but as a man who dared to question power. Like and share for more amazing stories like this.